Thank you. Oklahoma loves you, Mr. Thank you very much. If you want to really drive him crazy, you say 12 more years. Because we caught them doing some really bad things in 2016. Let's see what happens. We caught them doing some really bad things. We have to be very careful because they're trying it again with this whole 80 million mail in ballots that they're working on, uh, sending them out to people that didn't ask for them. They didn't ask, they just get them. And it's not fair, and it's not right, and it's not going to be possible to tabulate, in my opinion. It's just my opinion. We have to be very, very careful. And you have to watch. Every one of you, you have to watch. Because bad things happened last time with the spying on our campaign, and that goes to Biden, and that goes to Obama. And we have to be very, very careful. We have to be very, very careful. And this time, they're trying to do it with the whole post office scam. They'll blame it on the post office. You could see them setting it up. Be very careful and watch it very carefully, because we have to win. This is the most important election in the history of our country. This is the most. You know, for, for a long period of time, I would say, well, 2016, how special was that evening? Was that one of the great? That was one of the great evenings. But we have to be very, very careful, and we have to win. Our country is counting on it. This is the biggest. This is it. Our country can go in a horrible, horrible direction or in an even greater direction. And before the plague came in from China, that's where we were going. We were going in a direction like we had never seen. The most successful economy in the history of our country, the best unemployment numbers in history for African-American, Asian-American, Hispanic-American, women, college students, bad students, good students, everybody. <laughs> if you had a diploma, if you didn't have a diploma, it didn't matter, you were doing well. Everybody was doing well. And we were actually coming together. You know, success brings people together. Maybe better than anything else. Success brings people. So many times they say, we're divided. Well, we were very divided under President Obama. Very divided. People have no idea how divided. They didn't talk about it as much. They didn't say it as much. But we were really coming together. And I was speaking with Democrats all of a sudden because the success, the markets were at an all-time high. And by the way, Take a look at what's happening with the markets. Take a look at your 401ks, which you probably do every hour. <laughs> Take a look at your stocks. We're very close to breaking the record, and NASDAQ has already done it. You know, NASDAQ has broken the record, I think, 16 times already during a pandemic. Hopefully, we'll call it the final phase of a pandemic, you know. Biden the other day said, no, he'd shut it down. He'd listen to some guy say, and he'd shut it down. Uh, we just broke a record on jobs, an all-time record.